welcome to another tutorial of easy video series here i am going to show you how to use the script command for recording screen contents in ubuntu linux or any other flavor of linux or step by step tutorial okay you just need to type script space your script name and when your recording is over you need to just type exit okay let's see the demo of it friends for example when you will see friends when the list goes excessively long the screen contents are actually taken out of the screen you cannot scroll and go up for example, let me type some commands. So IP config ls minus al. Okay, and then I type. Let's see all the commands of Linux. Okay, I press quit. Now, if you see, okay, the commands before grub script check are not displayed to me. Okay, for example, it happens many times when you write a long program, you wish to capture the entire output of the terminal. Okay. There is a very nice little small thing known as script. Okay, so to record the content of the screen, okay, just type S C R I P T that is script and type any name. Let us type easy. Okay, the message script started file is easy. So now whatever you type on the screen and whatever will be displayed on the terminal which be recorded in this easy file. Let's see, ls this will be gone in the file automatically. I do if config. This will go. Uh, let's check the command in Ubuntu beginning with a. Okay. Then you can have many more command ls minus al all the listing. Now when you want to close the file, basically you have taken all the entries. You can just type exit. Okay. It says script done. File is easy. Let's see the file in gedit. Type gedit space easy. So you see, the entire contents are actually captured in the file. If you see these are your folders, sometimes it does not display the font properly. But you see all the commands with a ls minus a. The special symbols are not being displayed, but it helps you. I mean, when I do my C programming, many a times the output is very long and I need to capture it. So before running, I start a script, then execute my code and then press exit and then open a captured output. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel Easy Video Series. Have